Okay, I had to redo this video because I made a terrible, terrible mistake in the last video, and I'm surprised no one called me on it. Um, I'm thankful for that, I guess. In the previous video, we spoke about something called valence. I'll put it down here. Valence electrons. And we found out that valence electrons um, can be determined by merely looking at the group number. Not the period, but the group number. And so if we were to look at group number one, that would tell us that all the elements in this group, in this column, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, all the way down, all have um, a single valence electron in its outer shell. And then the same would hold true for, for the others. Um, group two would have two valence electrons, okay? And we're we are going to ignore the transition metals for now. And then we get over to this side. Even though it's group 13, we are looking at only the ones column. And group 13 will have three electrons in its outer shell. Group 14 will have four electrons in its outer shell, and so on. And um, we take a look at this column, these are the noble gases, noble gases, and they have um, eight in their outer shell, okay? Of course, with the exception of helium because it only has two. Um, but what's special about the noble gases is that their outer shell is completely full. Um, helium has two, and the first energy level only can contain two, so helium's very happy its energy level is completely full. Same thing goes for neon. It has a full outer shell with eight, two in the first, and then eight in the second energy level. Um, and then argon, uh, also eight in the outer shell. So um, that's kind of the goal. If you think of it that way, that's kind of the goal for all atoms is to um, have a complete set of electrons in its outer shell. Um, so to give you an example of that, um, let me switch screens here. If we take two elements, an, an atom of chlorine and an atom of sodium, uh, we take a look and chlorine has 17, a mass number of 17, and it's also in the group 17. So it will have seven seven in its outer shell. And if I were to draw that out, um, let's, let's use white for the frame here. So we'll go nucleus, energy level one, energy level two, energy level three, and we'll input the electrons. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And it's missing one that would go right in this spot right here. All right, so it has seven in its outer shell. Its group number is 17. And we'll go to sodium, which has, um, a mass number of 11, and in, it is in group one, so it's gonna have one in its outer shell. And so I will draw the structure here. Here's shell number one, shell number two, and we're gonna need a third shell. And let's use yellow here. Okay, so uh, sodium, one, two, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight in the second outer shell, plus two in the first, and that will have, that will make 10, and this will be number 11. So sodium has one extra, and um, chlorine is short one, and both of, both of them would love, neither, would, would dearly love to have a full outer shell. So what chlorine does, it just reaches across and grabs grabs this electron and takes it for its own. And you know what, I'm gonna erase, I'm gonna erase him. 
And so now let's see what we have here. Whoops. Let's see what we have. We have we have chlorine with a full outer shell of eight because it grabbed one from sodium. And actually, sodium now has a full outer shell also of eight, but it's no longer the the third en energy level. It is the second energy level, and that is completely full, and there's nothing in that third energy level. Maybe I can erase that. Let's see if that's going to be a hassle. Yeah, it's going to be, a, I guess, a little bit of a hassle. Let's erase it anyway. And so this shell no longer has any electrons in it because chlorine took it away. And so both atoms are happy, and we have complete outer shell here and a complete outer shell here. Now, take a look at what happened, though. Since, since chlorine gained an electron, it, is, it has an extra electron. And if you remember what we talked about earlier um, about, about atomic structure, if it has an extra electron, it makes it an ion, and it makes it um, more negative. So it would be chlorine. And I made another mistake. Let's, let's fix that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it would be chlorine with a negative one, and that would be um, a chlorine ion. And then here, sodium lost an electron, so it becomes less negative and more positive. And what we end up with is a sodium ion as well, but as a positive. So what we have, and actually we probably don't have to, we don't have to write number one, all right? It's normally don't do that. So we have chlorine as an ion, as an anion, and sodium as a cation, and one's negative and one's positive, and what you get with a positive and negative is an attraction. So we end up with something called sodium chloride, known better as salt. So Knowing the valence electrons and being aware of them and its outer shell can be really helpful later on when you're in high school chemistry. And there, I just wanted to point out the importance of, of um, valence electrons and try to connect what the valence electrons have to do with, with bonding and molecules and, and the periodic table. All right, thanks for watching.